Hi guys. Urban Viking eye patch review. Okay. This is going to be another homebrew sent to me by James Porter, a really nice bloke. And I've finally got his um, his info here, so I can actually tell you about the beer. The one I've done previously was the uh, barley wine, uh, which was really nice. That was the one that was very similar to the Nolag by Williams Brothers. Um, I'll read the info on it. I can actually put this in the description of the. Uh, yeah, it'd probably be better if I'd done that. I'll put it in the description of the review. But anyway, the one I'm going to be reviewing next is his um, Old School 1800 Dark Mild. 5% um, volume, bottle condition, pour carefully his bottle. He's got, he does his own little labels, look at that. That is really good. So, let's give you some info on this. Um, he's put on here, Old School Dark Mild, uh, Maris Otter, Crystal and black malts combined with Fuggle and East Kent Golden Hops. Yeast used was Fuller's own strain. Oh wow. This is as strong mild as they used to be, but if I'm honest, did not turn out quite as planned. Okay. So, he's, he's a little bit unsure about this, but I'll give it a go. See how it goes. 5% mild. I'm not a big fan of milds. Um, I've had the cane. But be careful, this is bottle condition, did it? Um, Already done another madcap job. Hang on. <laughs> Let me just get a cloth ready, just in case. Right. Here we go. Ah, good stuff. Yeah, uh, in regards to milds, I've had the Keynes mild, which was very bland, very blah. But then again, I had the Arbor Brewery mild, which was the Omega, which was bloody lovely. So, let's see how this goes. Okay, pour carefully. Well, as careful as I can. He said, really, I should try and get it all in the bottles one at once because, sorry, in the glass at once because there is quite a bit of um, sediment at the bottom. So I'll leave that little bit. As you can see, it's, it's not that much of a head, but it's pretty dark. Um, tiny, tiny bit of light getting through at the bottom. Very, very faint. Uh, let's give it a nose. It's really hard for me. I, I'm, I'm silly, really. I should sort of wait maybe till tomorrow when I can take this bugger off, but I really fancy the beer tonight. And these are the only ones I've got at the moment due to my certain order, which I won't mention at the moment, being delayed. I'm getting um, almost like a sweet sort of licorice smell. Hmm. Um, a slightly sort of rubber smell. Uh, some very light sort of barley malts. Hmm. There's it, a strange sort of um, chemical tinge to the smell. So let's just give it a go. This might have gone off. Let's give it a go. Cheers. Hmm. That is really nice. What are you talking about, James? I don't know what's going on there. That is really, really nice. Mild. Really refreshing. Really nice. It tastes like something you'd buy in a shop. Um, you're getting a really nice earthiness. Um, a nice... Almost like a, a dark hedgerow berry um, going through it. It almost tastes like there's a slight sort of roasting or something something like that. It's really, really mild, like a, I don't know, it's hard to describe, like a roasting malt. Not coffee, but just um, a nice dark roasty note. Um, very, very mild carbonation, but there is carbonation and it's really nice. It, it sort of um, makes the whole experience very, really smooth and really, really uh, um, drinkable.
That's really, really nice. I'm really enjoying this. I'm getting a bit of licorice as well. Quite mild. Oh, what is it? it tastes like a beer I've had before. I can't remember what it is now. Actually, it's like a cross. Um, in a way, it reminds me of a Brains Dark. Um, I don't know if you've had the Brains Dark. It's similar to that, but also I'm getting like elements of like a dark lager in it as well. But then I'm getting like a, a slight porter note as well with the um, really, really mild roasting. But then you're getting that fuggles coming through and it's just... This is a really, really nice beer. Really nice. Um, See, the nose doesn't really dictate the taste because the nose is still a little bit, you know, it's a little bit chemical and you think, what's going on? Actually, it's not too bad now. It's um, it's getting a bit better. But that is really nice. Really good stuff. It does taste like a Fuller's beer. I know I've read it on there, full as yeast, and I probably wouldn't have said that if I hadn't read it, but, you know, it tastes like something like the Jack Frost or, you know, that really nice sort of proper English taste. Um, this is a really good home brew. Um, I better be careful, because... But I just really like it. I want to get as much as I can of it. Um, this is going to be another 8 out of 10. This is really, really nice. Uh, old school 1800 Dark Mild. I'll tell you what, James. If your architecture job goes tits up, get on the home brewing. Start, you know, doing it professionally. That is really nice. It's really light, like I said, it's got light, light flavours. It's got um, the hedgerow, it's got the roasting, it's got the uh, slight bitterness. It's got the nice earthy fuggles um, flavour. But... It's also slightly com yeah, slightly complex. So, as much as I'm enjoying gulping it down, what am I sort of taking my time with it as well? So, anyway, I've got that much left. I'm going to sit down, watch a couple of videos, and um, enjoy the rest of that. James, thank you very much, mate. Um, I'll sort you out a beer mail soon, actually. Uh, in thanks for all this, I know I've got you a pint down the pub, but that's hardly nothing. Um, so I'll sort you something out alright mate so anyway guys thanks very much for watching this is going to be gone soon and I'll be back to my beautiful self cheers